Hello Cancers! So this is the reading that I got for you guys for the mid-month of November. So I'm going to start with the Romance Angel first and then I'm going to do the Tarot and then Oracle spread. Universe, give me a four card spread. What's going on with Cancers Love Life November 18th to 30th, 2020? So I got children for you guys. So some of you guys are dealing with someone that you feel like is immature who act childish. This person could be younger than you. Um, this is somebody who may have children as well. You may have a child with them. Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Cancer's Love Life for November 18th to 30th, 2020? I got true love. Yeah, even though this person may act childish, I feel like you really do have a sincere, genuine bond with this person. Give me two more cards. Give me two more cards. What's going on with Cancer's Love Life, November 18 to the 30th, 2020? Give me two more cards. Okay. So I got to keep an open mind. Yeah. So some of you guys are still trying to be optimistic with this connection, even though they do have some ups and downs. Um, and it's because you generally have a connection with them. And I feel like this person do love you as well, too. Give me one more card. What's going on with Cancer's Love Life, November 18 to the 30th? Yes, 2020. Universe, give me one more card. What's going on in Cancer? Okay. So, I got codependency. Okay. However, this connection is not 100% healthy. Um, this person may be codependent. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody that you can't 100% trust with the deception card being the general energy. Um, again, I feel like the connection is losing its innocence. Okay. I do got children. So, part of when the connection came about you guys have pure intention or just you have pure intention and then you start seeing their negative qualities you start seeing that this person can't be trusted okay that's what i'm pretty much getting i feel like this person could be an earth sign a taurus or a capricorn okay universe give me a five card spread what's going on with i want to say Aquarius. some of you guys are done with the Aquarius. what's going on with cancer's love life november the 18th to the 30th 2020 What's going on with Cancer's love life? So I got the Six of Wands. So I feel like even though there's probably some down moments of the connection, you feel like this connection can still be successful, okay? This is someone who loves to give you a lot of attention, okay? Universe, give me four more cards. What's going on with Cancer's love life? November 18th to the 30th, okay? Two of Cups, yeah, I see, look. It came out horizontal, Okay. <laughs> So when a message come out horizontal, that means it's, it could go both ways, okay? But with the two of cups being there, I feel like, again, there is love here. There is love here. And I, you guys may feel like this connection can be successful, okay? It just sometimes you, sometime you feel like this person does jeopardize the connection, okay? Universe, universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Cancer's Love Live November 18 to 30th? So, I got the Hierophant. Wow, look at this. It's so beautiful. And I also got the Two of Wands in the verse. Wow. Okay. So, you may see them in the future or that's them. However, with the Two of Wands being in reverse, okay, it could just be making the final decision of being committed. Or it can mean, for me, Two of Wands, it's future energy. Um, so, in reverse... You probably thinking like probably right now the connection is good or so so, but because of you noticing their negative traits, you probably thinking like, can I deal with this person for the rest of my life? I feel like that's how a lot of you guys are questioning yourself, okay? And again, some of you guys are pregnant and you start analyzing like this person is going to be part of your life basically for the rest of your life, um, and you start questioning like, you know, can you deal with this person, okay? Um, universe, give me two more cards. What's going on with Cancer's Love Life, November 18th to the 20th? I mean, to the 30th. 30th, um, 30th, 2020. Give me two more cards. Universe, what's going on with Cancer's Love Life, November 18th? So the Temperance Universe. Yeah, there's imbalance in the connection. Do I have another card? Nope. Okay. Give me one more card. Universe, what's going on with Cancer's Love Life? Three of Cups in verse. Yeah, I see this imbalance. There's love here, but someone is still operating 
childish, okay? Someone is still not wanting to mature and evolve, okay? Um, seven of Cups. So I feel like a lot of you guys have a lot of options, okay? This person might be a juggler too. This person might be like to juggle different women, men, whatever. Um, and that's why the Three of Cups came out in verse too. Like this person, you know, is involved in third party stuff. But I feel like the love that you both of you guys share is very genuine. I feel like both of you guys do love each other. Um, but something is making the connection off, okay? And it's probably because this person's childish, because this person's not mature, or because they're dealing with other people, okay? Universe, clarify the Seven of Cups. 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 The Two of Swords. Yeah. And at first, I feel like a lot of you guys didn't realize that this person was like this. Like, they was a player or like to keep their option. It's like until like either they tell, like, tell it on themselves or you found out about that. Universe, clarify the Two of Swords. 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 Universe. The Eight of Pentacles in verse. Yeah. And as soon as you found out, it's like you just stopped wanting to work on it. Okay. But at the same time, you still probably have feelings for them. So, universe, go for three of cups in reverse. Okay, page of wands. Yeah, so somebody, I feel like if if this is your situation, like if you was dealing with somebody who had multiple people, like I feel like their side person, okay, went to you to explain what had happened. Like you got a message, okay? Universe, clarify the page of wands. Universe card for the page of wands. Universe card for the page of wands. Universe card for the page of wands. Universe. So I got the Queen of Cups. And I also got the Emperor. Yeah, I feel like there was some news. Either the side person came to reach out, okay? Um, and trying to tell you, like, this person is just not faithful, okay? Um, but I feel like a lot of you guys know that your connection is stronger than the connection they have with that person. Okay. Universe, clarify the temperance in reverse. Universe, clarify the temperance in reverse. Universe. Okay. So I got the eight of swords. Yeah. Something's off. Something's not balanced. However, you feel so tied, um, with this connection Okay, um, you still have these bonds, okay, with this person, okay? Universe, okay, okay, at the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Yeah, it's showing that you still have this strong bond with them, okay? Um, I'm getting strong earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Universe, clarify for the Hierophant and the Two Wands in the verse. Universe, clarify for the Hierophant and the Two Wands in the verse. Universe, clarify for the Hierophant and the Two Wands in the verse. Universe, clarify for the Hierophant and the Two Wands in the verse. Yeah. So either they want to fix it with you or you just want this connection to work or both of you guys just want it to work. Universe, clarify three swords in the verse. The magician, yeah. And I feel like the cards is basically trying to say is that the connection can be salvaged. It can get better. Um, it's just that truth and honesty need to be restored and trust. Universe, clarify the two of cups. Universe, clarify the two of cups. Uh, the tower. Yeah, I feel like both of you guys have a deep intense love the tower is represented by the energy of scorpio so you might be done with the scorpio as well um but this is about rebirth so this connection might have a lot of it's not like a linear connection and what i mean is like it have depth and it have different expectation what you expected it's probably was it didn't came out that way you probably unexpectedly fall in love with them and vice versa okay universe clarify the tower universe clarify the tower so I got the seven swords. Yeah. But at the same time, there was some, some stuff involved in this connection. Either you kn knew of it or don't know of it. Some of you guys probably were dealing with somebody who was committed as well. Um, and both of you guys fall in love and you both of you guys didn't expect to fall in love. Okay. Um, but I'm seeing that the connection that they have with you is stronger. Now, another way this can go is basically 
you didn't know that they was entertaining other people, okay? And you had to break up with them. Universe, Five Five Seven of Swords. Universe, Five Five Seven of Swords. Universe, okay. The Death Universe, yeah, with the past. Now, now for some of you guys, it could be them going back to their past as well, okay? And you didn't know that. This is probably like a newer connection. They're going back to their past. It could be you guys too wanting to go back to your past. Universe, Five Five Six of Wands. Universe, Five Five Six of Wands. Universe, Five Five Six of Wands. At the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. But for some reason, the cards are showing that this connection can be salvaged. This connection can work for you guys. Universe, Five Five Six of the Wheel of Fortune. Universe, the Page of Cups. Yeah, I just feel like what needs to happen, it needs to have a clean slate. So, honesty needs to happen truth needs to be revealed and both of you guys wanting to work on it with it work on it with each other have to be mutually um reciprocated okay mutually putting the effort okay um but i'm seeing like there was some stuff that you found out about your person however this connection is very strong still okay So, universe, give me a four card spread. What message do you have for cancers pertaining to their love life from November 18 to the 30th, 2020? Give me a four card spread. What message do you have for cancers pertaining to their love life from November 18 to the 30th? So, I got the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Yeah. So, I feel like, yeah, there was somebody, you know, somebody else. Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Cancer's Love Life, November 18 to the 30th, 2020? So I got photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making you new memories. Yeah, so I feel like this person is definitely, um, like, looking at your social media. Um, they're stalking you, okay? Um, they're trying to see, like what you're doing okay if you want a date okay they're trying to see what's going on they do miss you a lot that's what i'm seeing if you have broken up with them now if you not broken up with them i'm seeing like it's probably their ex too their ex is trying to see what's up you know universe give me two more cards what messages do you have for cancers pertaining to their love life november 18 to the 30th 2020 Give me two more cards. What messages do you have for cancers pertaining to their love life? November 18th to the 30th, 2020. Give me two more cards. What's going on? I mean, what messages do you have for cancers pertaining to their love life? November 18th to the 30th, 2020. Okay. So I got heart with the key. Welcoming love, meaning the one opening your heart, getting together and perfect. Yeah, a lot of you guys feel like this is your person. Okay. This person may feel that about you too. Universe, give me my card. What's going on with Cancer's love life? November 18th to the 30th, 2020. Give me one more card. What's going on with Cancer's love life? November 18th to the 30th, 2020. Give me one more card. What's going on with Cancer's love life? November 18th to the 30th, 2020. Give me one more card. Give me one more card. Okay. So I got addiction. Okay which is codependent obsession possession controlling and has block and restraint and i got the runner a runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listen to ego and then i also got talking okay interested conversing more awaited messages arrive text call email and hovering so if you haven't heard from them you are going to hear from them okay they will be communicating to you okay um but i do sense some codependency is showing the romance angel and is showing here too um with the runner this person again is a avoid getting too deep okay at the bottom of the deck i got the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth okay so yeah i'm seeing that this connection can still be salvaged okay Universe, give me a four card. So, what messages do you have for cancer pertaining to the love life in November 18? Okay, I got mental conflict. 
yeah, this is a connection that puts you through circles, loops, and everything, <laughs> okay? Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Cancer's love life? November 18 to the 30th, 2020, okay? So I got intuition, okay? But your intuition is guiding you, okay? Either guiding you to um, saying, like, this connection can still work or is guiding you to move forward. Universe, give me two more cards. What's going on with Cancer's love life? So I got spiritual strength. Yeah. So some of you guys feel like this connection, again, can work. It can be successful. It's just this person needs to handle whatever personal issues that they have within their own selves. Okay. Give me one more card. What's going on with Cancer's love life? November 18 to the 30th, 2020. Give me one more card. What's going on with Cancer's love life? November 18. Okay. So I got sacrifice. Okay, yeah, this person had to make the sacrifice. I feel like a lot of you guys did make the sacrifice, okay, of, you know, doing your best, trying to make things work, but when they're not reciprocating, then things are thrown off. So this person needs to sacrifice. I would say if you've been doing what you need to do, don't overextend yourself, okay, because what's, what's going to happen, you're going to disrupt the flow and it's going to get worse, okay? Wait until this person actually make things much better with you and change if they're not willing to change and move forward with your life don't wait for anybody basically okay now at the bottom of the deck got a spiritual union yeah so i feel like this connection is strong that's what i'm seeing i feel like it's stronger than who, whatever connection that they have with somebody else okay i have a lot of green in this and these um, spread so again this represents the green chakra the heart chakra so again i feel like there's a lot of emotions a lot of depth both you guys love each other it's not one-sided where you know you love with this person and they're not or they're in love with you and you're not i feel like both you guys do love you love each other it just i feel like this person does um self-sabotage tendencies okay which mess up the flow and mess up the connection So, universe, give me the eight day cards, but what messages do you have for cancers pertaining to your love life? November 18 to the 30th, 2020. What messages, universe, what messages do you have for cancers pertaining to your love life? November 18. So, I got full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. So, the universe wants you to look in the future, okay? Um, look at how things, how things, how things like how things benefit you and how things distract you okay so if this connection was mostly toxic and you was not being your true self it was making you lose your focus and your life the universe is trying to say look at the bigger picture of making your life much better how can that work now if this person was your divine partner your divine masculine or divine feminine and when you was with them your life was much better um or if you, even if you're still with them right now and your life is just progressing and getting much better, the universe is trying to say continue to build on that dream that you guys have together, okay? Universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for... I want to say Sagittarius again. <laughs> what messages do you have for um, Cancers? Pertain to the love vibe number 18. So, I got New Moon and Leo. Confidence is your key to success. So, yeah, the universe is asking you to be confident and your position when it comes to your connection. Don't think there's another woman or a man that's in your way, okay? Give me one more card. What messages do you have for cancers pertaining to the love life? And pertaining to the love life, November, um, November, I wanna say 26. So something probably might happen November 26 for you guys. Um, Universe, what's, um, what message do you have for cancers pertaining to the love life? November 18 to the 30th. So I got full moon and tours. Your dreams need a practical plan. Yeah. So I feel like it's more with them. They have to start working on it. They have to be, you know, um, working hard with it. Like not trying to slack, not trying to be lazy in the connection and you doing all the work. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, got waxing, crescent moon, have faith in your dreams. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. So universe wants you to have confidence and your and your stance of your connection, okay? And also have stance 
of what you bring to the table, who you are, your presence, your essence, okay? So you might be dealing with a Taurus, um, Sagittarius, okay? Okay, Universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Cancers pertaining to their love life, November 18? So I got improving health. Universe, give me three my cards. What messages? Okay, I got success. Give me two more cards. What messages do you have for cancers pertaining to the love life? November 18. I got Axe Your Angels. Give me one more card. What, what messages do you have? Okay. So I got Be Assertive. Yeah, so the universe is wanting you to be assertive. Don't bend. Don't fold. Don't overextend. Okay? Let this person do what they need to do. Okay? And I got No. Okay? So don't... <laughs> yeah, I was trying to say don't overdo it. Okay? Do not. Um, with improving health... And success, if you guys have been battling with health issues or elements or even weight loss or trying to gain weight, I feel like you're going to get to a much better place um, in the health perspective, okay? With Axe Angels, some of you guys are really battling with this on an emotional level. And the universe is asking you to meditate and to ground yourself, okay? Um, so everything can be centered and focused again, okay? Okay, so universe, give me a two card spread. What messages do you have for cancers pertaining to their love life November 18 to 30th, 2020? What messages do you have for cancers love life November 18 to 30th, 2020? Universe, what messages do you have for cancers? Okay, so I got quite nourish quite nourishes me okay quite nourishes me it connects me to the power of now so yeah the universe is asking you to again focus on yourself meditate to see how can you how, like what can you do to make the connection better and sometimes you don't need to do anything sometimes especially if you are feminine energy your position when it comes to energy is receiving so whenever you whenever you kind of i would just give you an example whenever you see a connection is not working out usually and it's with a heterosexual relationship, a man and a woman. Okay. When you see the woman do too much, it usually don't work out. Okay. And the main reason why is because it's going against the flow. Now, you could be in a homosexual relationship. Whoever is the masculine, most masculine and most feminine, you apply it there. Um, but that's usually the case because it's not in divine nature. It's not in divine order, basically, if that makes sense to you. So sometimes it's best to not do anything, okay? So this person can operate as a divine masculine, okay? And vice versa, okay? Now, if you want the connection to work and you have been feeling like, you know, kind of slack, okay? Ask your higher self, okay? And if you are divine masculine and you have been trying, but you're kind of afraid, then the universe is asking you to, you know, put in more effort, okay? Universe, give me one more card. What messages do you have for cancers pertaining to um, their love life November? Nope. Okay. So I got Princess Charming. I take the horse by the reins and become my own Princess Charming, taking care of my own needs. Yeah, so the universe is asking you to focus on yourself, okay? Still have um, belief that a connection can work, but also focus on yourself. Don't get too caught up, Okay. And then I got anger as my sacred alley. I listen to my messages within my anger and use it as a positive force for good. Yeah, so I feel like the universe wanting you to connect positively um, and see things positively. Okay, don't be too caught up because I do see some caught up energy, okay? So I do see the connection can be salvaged. It's just that there is um, something that this person got to work through. And they have to clear that out, okay? So that's the reading that I got for you, Cancers. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading for me at queenfittetarot at gmail.com.